Today we're going to talk about connecting your Bifrost wallet to MetaMask so you can use it on um, desktop. Makes it easier sometimes instead of having to use your mobile phone all the time to do DeFi. And uh, I know for me, getting older, man, it's getting harder to uh, read the small screen. So let's get started. And what we want to do is basically uh, install a fresh uh, version of no fresh version, but install MetaMask uh, extension to your Google Chrome or to a Brave browser. But either way, we're going to use today uh, Google Chrome. And as you can see right here, I've downloaded it already, installed it, and we're here to the um, to the welcome screen. And also, if you don't know how to do this, then you're going to have to Google that to get to this. So right now, what you want to do is you want to click on Get Started read the uh, agreement there and agree and you're going to ask or they're going to ask you if you already have a secret recovery phrase or you want to get one started now what you want to do is we're going to take the secret rec recovery phrase from your bifrost wallet on mobile and put it here to metamask so you want to do this import wallet <clears throat> now what you want to do is you want to go to your mobile device as you can see, this is it right here for me. I'm gonna choose Bifrost Wallet. And as you can see, this is uh, my YouTube wallet. And as you can there I've got some Songbird in there. I've got Rap Songbird, 100 Oracle tokens. And um, yeah, that's it. So just kind of use that for a frame of reference. So we have right here 44,000 Songbird. And what you want to do is you want to go to the bottom right and hit the gear or settings. Then the first thing up you have right there is recovery phrase. So you want to hit that and then it's going to ask you to authenticate. And then now um, it's going to blah, blah, blah. You know, here's your uh, agreement. Make sure you understand that you don't ever share your recovery phrase. You want to hit that checkbox and you want to hit continue. And before it does that, it'll say, hey, do you want to show your recovery phrase? And then you don't want to hit proceed. But at this time right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys on a little pause while I put in my secret phrase to the MetaMask uh, app. So hang on just a second. I have now inputted it into the section where you input that recovery phrase into MetaMask. So, done all that, I created a new password, and now what we want to do is import. What it does, it'll tell you, congratulations, you passed the test, keep your secret recovery phrase safe, and it's your responsibility. All done, and then now you're technically just the Ethereum network um, wallet is in MetaMask right now. The next step is actually to add Songbird Network to MetaMask. And what I've done here is I've actually Googled or pre-searched to add Songbird Network to MetaMask. And there's several choices you have here and I'm going to this one and as you scroll down, here are all the details to add Songbird to MetaMask. So what you want to do is go here to MetaMask and add network, drop down. And then we're just, all we're going to do is copy and paste. So first thing here is Songbird network. Paste it to that. RPC URL. Take that. Copy, pasta, chain ID is 19, currency symbol is SGB, and then the block explorer, I'm going to do one more, copy that, and then paste it here. Save it, and there you have it. As you can see, it shows I have 44,000. Um, 300 or 44,134 Songbird. And then if we go back to my 
mobile and you can see it's also showing the same thing. So now we are here. So that's it. That's the easiest way to put your Songbird or your Bifrost wallet to MetaMask. And then now the next thing we're gonna do is if you guys don't know, we want to. I want to show you how to add different tokens um, that are, you know, on the Songbird network to MetaMask. Because right now, all that you have is Songbird. So the best thing you want to do is, if you guys aren't familiar with this, you want to go to the uh, Songbird Explorer, and which I have right here. It's going to be songbird network. Correct. Yep. And this is small, but all you do is type in the, uh, the token and you can see here WSGB. And here is the contract for that. What you want to do is copy that. Go to your MetaMask and see, go here to say import tokens. You want to paste that onto the contract address and it'll autofill the token symbol and the uh, token decimal. Click that and as you can see, my previous wallet, I did have a thousand wrap Songbird. So import that and then now you are, oops, um, one second. Yeah, I'm all confused. It's trying to hook to uh, the Pangolin, um, Pangolin DAP, but Anyway, as you can see here, oh, there we are. Sorry about that. But now, there it is. There's my 1,000 wrap Songbird and my 44,000 Songbird tokens. And uh, if you can see here, matches up. And then you just keep doing that to all the tokens that you have in your wallet. And uh, just use Songbird Explorer. And if you don't know how to do that, you can definitely Google it and find out more information um, on doing that. So. Yeah, that is it. And um, if you already have a MetaMask account or you already have like different networks or different wallets on MetaMask, it's gonna be harder to actually put in your, oh, put that on there. Hey guys, it's actually gonna be a little bit harder to um, import your Bifrost wallet because it is, um, no, I don't know. It's you can't use the 12 seed phrase or 12 word seed phrase. You actually have to put in um, your. Let me show you here. So once you already have a wallet, and if you wanted to add a new wallet, sorry, you want to import account. You actually have to use your private key. Now I'll show you guys how that works uh, on another video. So stay tuned for that. But Anyway, this is where we are and yeah, happy, um, happy defying because now like if we go to like Pango Index and you connect to a wallet, you hit MetaMask and you hit next, connect. Then and go on the little backs up a little bit. Here, go to pool and farm to the wall here. And I gotta talk to these guys about this kids. They go back to dashboard, connect. There we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> kind of took the long way around, but as you can see, we are now connected to our wallet. There you can see 44,130 Songbird. Then we go to Pool and Farm. And then in this particular wallet, you guys already know I have started a uh, SGB PSB farm. And um, yeah, here it is right here. So, same thing you would see um, on uh, your mobile. So. Hopefully that helps, and if you guys have any questions, leave it on the comments, and I'd love to help you guys out. I'll see you guys soon on the next video. Thanks!